e pens. Hey folks, welcome to another Print and Paint Kickstarter countdown. I have 20 new campaigns to share with you, as well as a new promotional campaign. These are the Hive Droids Army from channel patron The Hive, available on My Mini Factory and Patreon. New subscribers get the fantastic Thundercrash Droid. There is supposed to be another big mech and some allies coming in the month of August, so stay tuned for that. Over on my Patreon for the month of August, you can build your kill team or start your army off with their warrior droids. Thank you so much to The Hive for supporting the channel. Now, on with the show. First up, 3D printable stuff for gamers and painters. Printable minis by Robin Meyer of Ukraine, their second Kickstarter campaign. This campaign contains a large variety of fan art minis from many games, comics, cartoons, movies, and more, as well as a few tanks and a couple fantasy pieces like the two dragons at the end. This one is also a benefit campaign for a colleague of theirs injured in the war, so please check it out. Just one tier for the whole set, this campaign ends on August 5th, with rewards expected in September. Back in the USSR, printable scenery by RSTZZXX of the United States, their third Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a number of buildings, houses, and other pieces of scenery to facilitate simulated invasions of Russia. You can get the whole set, as well as a commercial license. This campaign ends on August 15th, with rewards expected in September. Dwarven House No. 4, printable buildings by Quinn Zahosky of the United States, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This is a three-story tower with a detailed interior. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and access to previous sets. This campaign ends on August 15th, with rewards expected in September. Fifty four mm Chieftains, printable minis by Asgard Rising of Poland, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of three highly detailed Chieftains with alternate versions in the stretch goals. One tier for the whole set, this campaign ends on August 18th, with rewards expected the same month. Sci Fi Power Plants Printable and pre-printed scenery by Lasercraft Workshop of the United States, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two pieces of power plant terrain with some pipes and a platform. Pay what you want for the set, pay a little more for a commercial license or a physical copy. This campaign ends on August 19th, with rewards expected by October. Cowboy Village Printable Scenery by Digital Creative Works of the United States, their third Kickstarter campaign. This set includes 10 buildings, 11 props, and 26 custom parts. You can get the buildings with optional props and custom parts, as well as a commercial license. This campaign ends on August 20th, with rewards expected the same month. Mud and Blood Fantasy Football Pitches Printable Playing Fields by Warscape of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This set includes two pitches and some accessories, with more in the stretch goals. You can get one pitch or the whole set with accessories and stretch goals. This campaign ends on August 2nd, with rewards expected in September. Wasteland Container House 3 Printable Scenery by Pharaoh's Workshop of Germany, their seventh Kickstarter campaign. This is a post-apocalyptic home with a lot of options and ruined versions. You can get the first floor with optional second floor, ruined versions, commercial license, and previous content. This campaign ends on August 23rd, with rewards expected in September. Leviathan's The Great War Boxed Game with Plastic Looking Minis by Catalyst Games of the United States, their seventh Kickstarter campaign. This is a new version of an airship miniature skirmish game released in 2012. There is a German-French starter set as well as fleet boxes for several other nations, 
and a retailer's tier. This campaign ends on August 22nd, with rewards expected in September of 2023. The Ancestors, Nkosi, printable statues by Black Forge Games of New Zealand, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of three statues in 112 and 118 scale, but most of the images are gajifs, so you'll have to check them out on the page for best viewing. You can get them individually or together, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on August 25th, with rewards expected in January. Grenade Launcher Specialist, printable mini by Brenos Ludi of France, their third Kickstarter campaign. This is one model of a soldier with a grenade launcher. Pay what you want for the soldier, this campaign ends on August 25th, with rewards expected the same month. Land of Fairies Volume 2, printable buildings by Monica Kirthapati of Germany, their third Kickstarter campaign. This set includes five buildings and an altar. You can get one building, the whole set, or a commercial license. This campaign ends on August 27th, with rewards expected the same month. Hobbit Holes number three, Around the World. Printable scenery by Ki Kapas of the Netherlands. Their seventh Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of five new Hobbit Holes with multiple versions and additional scenery. You can get the whole set, a commercial license, and previous sets. This campaign ends on August 26th, with rewards expected the same month. Industrial Enclave, printable scenery by Vanguard Terrain of Canada, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of modular sci-fi buildings with catwalks, ladders, and stairs. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on August 29th, with rewards expected in September. The Forge, printable scenery by Art the Smith of Italy, their second Kickstarter campaign. This set includes a full blacksmith shop with a whole heckload of weapons and armor to go with. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and previous content. This campaign ends on August 29th, with rewards expected by October. City of Last Haven, printable scenery by Caledonia Miniatures of the United States, their 17th Kickstarter campaign. This set includes city walls with towers and gate, a dungeon tower, and a magical portal. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license. This campaign ends on August 28th, with rewards expected in September. Yadirian's Cave, printable scenery by Crab Miniatures of Spain, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is the entrance to the cave where the dragon Yadirion lives. You can get it with optional stretch goals and commercial license. This campaign ends on August 29th, with rewards expected in September. Fantasy Forest Returns, printable scenery by Fantasy Designs of Canada their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of four different forest homes and some terrain pieces. You can get the whole set, and you can also get a commercial license and previous content. This campaign ends on August 31st, with rewards expected in September. Zero Dark, the Miniatures Line, printable and pre-printed minis by Roby Jenkins of the United Kingdom, their first Kickstarter campaign. This is a set of four sci-fi minis with three humans and one drone. Digital or physical, you can get one mini or the whole set. This campaign ends on August 30th, with rewards expected by October. Sinan Haven Part 2 Printable Buildings and Army by Toure Williams of France, their sixth Kickstarter campaign. This is a full army of infantry, with many different units as well as an expansive modular building set. You can get just the army or the whole set as well as a commercial license and previous content. This campaign ends on August 31st with rewards expected by October.
That's all for now. Huge thanks to all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is what keeps these videos coming. Check back soon for another 3D printing Patreon preview. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos, and thanks for watching.